First game post patch Madden 25. Haven't done a gameplay video in a minute, so figured I would do one for you today as we're testing some stuff post patch. Kind of just go through, um, you know, pretty much what's what I've seen and uh, rocking rocking my new defense. I'm gonna be dropping an ebook on this uh, later this week. This is one of my personal favorite defense of all time, and I just like it because I think it is gonna be really good this year. So uh, apparently EA saved Madden. And uh, now you can no longer, now your crow flats don't play uh, 15,000 yards back. So that's the biggest change so far. And then they did fix the stem glitch. Now, the stem glitch wasn't a huge deal to me because they pretty much banned it in any, any real uh, tournament. So, you know, there's that. I'm rocking Colts. All right, fumble <laughs> early. Should, you should be playing on conservative, honestly. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't really play on conservative. I just don't like playing conservative. But that can happen if you don't. So I'm rocking 3 3 Cub right now. I really like this defense a lot, actually. And um, I am going to be dropping an ebook on 3 3 Cub later this week on the, in the school community. So if you guys want to get access to that, uh, I'll put a link to our school site in the description. All of our e the blitzes are already, already, bro already uh, broken down in there for you guys. Uh, the biggest thing is we're just going to be adding in kind of more of a full-fledged uh, defensive scheme for it. So if you guys do want to check that out, that's down the, in the in the school site. But I love this defense. I think this defense is really good. And as we see right off rip, they didn't fix hard flats. You still can't cover anything with a hard flat. So really super excited to play this game where your hard flats don't cover the hard flat. I think that's super bad. Um, but anyway, we'll just keep we'll just keep balling. We'll just keep balling. I kind of like this defense. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it does. I might. I might jump in double mug just to kind of show you guys some different things uh, as well. But I do think this defense ultimately is going to be one of the better defenses. Um, one of the better defenses in the game. And for fun, we're going to run a little Mabel coverage just to see how it works. Supposedly they fixed curl flats. So when you when you call curl flats now, the curl flats go more out to the sideline than they did pre patch. So we will see uh, if that is. If that is the case, I'm going to blitz my user here. The sheds out of this are supposed to be pretty good as well. So we'll see how that works. Just kind of testing some things again post patch. Um, see how the flats play. And there's a seam. That's the main thing I want changed. And you still can't catch a pick. So that's good for the game. So my, I got my, I actually have my top five issues with this game um, that, I, that I've been kind of working on over the last couple, uh, the last little bit. Because I've had a lot of time to think because they literally haven't fixed anything in the last month. Uh, the game's basically been out a little bit right out of month today. And we've kind of got like a general, you know, like what, what needs fixed type of stuff. So my main issues uh, with this game, a couple things. The first one, just in general, uh, the gift that keeps on giving is this, is this uh, movement engine. The movement is the number one issue with the game. If they fix the movement, it would fix a lot of things that are wrong with the game. That being said, um, another issue with this game, I might just jump in main coverage, actually, just the way he's playing. I think I will. Um, another issue with the game is high balls. Uh, from what I heard, I don't think high balls are really any different, uh, any different now than they were pre-patch. So high balls did not get fixed. Um, crap, I totally messed up. Gosh, I forgot how hard it is to play a game and talk about it. Um, hard or uh, so movement, high balls. Those are like my top two uh, issues with this game. And then they did fix the stem glitch in this patch, so we'll give them their their flowers for that. Uh, let's see if I can just hook curl my user here. Love to get some there. You see, there's Cub, and that's what Cub can do for you, and that is what Cub can do for you. So they did fix, they did fix high balls. Um, I really wasn't honestly that it was it really honestly high balls wasn't like the, wasn't like the the major deal for me. I'm trying to think what else my issues were. I just don't like the I don't like I just don't like the fact that there's lack of defense. So like zone logic in general, they said they fixed zone logic. They did not fix zone logic. Zone logic is just as bad as it's ever been. Uh, the only thing they actually fixed within zones is what a curl flat plays. A curl flat plays a little bit better, but that's it. That's the only thing that they fixed uh, in zones. I actually wrote this down. I can't, can't find my list. 
So, so far, my list is movement. Movement, number one. Zones, number two. Just in general, like, zones are bad. Specifically, deep zones. I feel like deep zone logic in this game is just absolutely terrible. Like, I don't know what a deep zone guards. Um, so, deep zones is really the main one. And then the other issues, high balls to me. Uh, they did fix the stem glitch. And I can't remember what my fifth one was. Um as far as issues with this game. But those are like my main issues. I actually don't mind. I just I just feel like the only reason I don't mind double mug is it's really not like a great. It's not like a it's it's the best deep in there. I throw right at a hard flat. So they clearly fixed it. Um, like it's I'm trying to think how to word it. Like double mug is a is the best defense in the game. OK. Um, at least it's like if it's not the best, it's like one A, one B, you know, one. It's like top two or three. But the uh, issue with double mug is even though it is the best defense in the game, it's not necessarily like a good defense. It's objectively a bad defense. It's just a bad defense that kind of works because of its or just because of the blitz. So the coverage is absolutely a, a horrendous from double mug. So all you have is like a send four blitz that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work uh, because it is a disengaged blitz. And then the other issue with, with, um, with double mug is that it's not the greatest run defense either. It's really good against like inside zone type runs, but it's really not that good against like a stretch or something like that. So, I understand trade-offs and all that, but my, my point is to try to say, like, even though Double Mug is the clear cut, like, best best blitz, if you will, in the game, it's not the best defense um, in the game. Here you see they said they fixed deep zone logic. I guess that kind of played it, but they didn't fix deep. I promise you. I can throw that. I mean, just I just got to be a little bit better with my pass lead. But my big issues now are – movement which they're not going to fix that uh but the thing with movement is and so like it's like the movement just affects everything okay and so the problem is they can't real like objectively i don't think they can fix the movement now that being said because they can't fix the movement then therefore it's going to be very difficult for them to fix zones it's going to be very difficult for them like i want them to fix uh, offensive and d-line engagement so what do i mean by that Offense has been at a significant movement advantage um, the entire time they've been on next gen consoles. So, the, the, the for the last like Madden 22, Madden Madden 23 was honestly the best movement we've had uh, on next gen, in my opinion. And Madden 23, in my opinion, was the best Madden on next gen, even though it was still like there was a lot of issues with the game. It was probably the best that we had. So you have all these issues with movement and they affect things like blitzing logic. And so that's why, uh, in my opinion, there's not very many effective blitzes because the movement is such that the defensive line, if you watch, if you actually watch how a defensive line is going to engage within the offensive line, it's basically going to uh, almost engage, like I said, quicksand. And that's the, that's the main issue to me. Like that's, that's the gift that keeps on giving is that the defensive line just it just they just don't engage very well with the offensive line and so therefore or therein lies you can't really do anything to set up a blitz. Um, I mean, there's obviously things you can do. There's little things here and there, and there's some glitchy blitzes, but there's not like it's not like a super great movement system for blitzing um, the, because they don't really engage engage quick with the offensive line and you saw this in college football 25. So in college football 25, you had like the quick jump ability where they would engage more with the defensive line. And to me, that was like super helpful for blitzing. Now, obviously you can go too far with that, which I think quick jump ultimately probably went a little too far in that direction because there were some blitzes on college football 25 that if you have quick jump, were just insane. But that being said, you know, I just feel like there's like a balance and we don't we just don't have balance like that's the biggest thing um, that I would say. OK, we're actually just going to run this defense. This defense is supposed to be good against two by two. That's my job. 
But yeah, as far as that goes, that's kind of my my major feedback for the patches. Movement system still sucks. As long as the movement system sucks, offense is going to be overpowered. Um, that's honestly the main one. And then from that kind of stems like zones not working right. Um, gosh, I just wish that wasn't like so open. I guess that's my job to cut that. Match coverage doesn't work. I mean, it, like match coverage should work better than it does. Match coverage should be like the best defense in the game, in my opinion. Like it should be the best defense in the game, and it just it's just not a very like consistent way to play defense. I'd love if we can hit him. All right, we're just gonna have to start playing hard flats. Our purples are just doing whatever they want out there. Honestly, the best zone, and look at that deep zone logic. Look at that middle third. Oh, what a great game. Um, the, the thing I was going to say about the zones is, like, the best zone in the game is probably the soft squat. Like, soft, I might jump in double mug against this guy just because the way he's playing, he's just kind of doing random stuff, and double mug is normally really good for bots. But basically... Uh, soft squat zones are really good. Like, they're really good. They cover they, – they, they're they probably the best they've been that I can remember. Um, they're by far the best flat zone uh, because they just cover a lot. Um, and so, you know, I actually think you could be in a situation where almost like a cover two, send three, send, or send four, send five pressure look could be decent. I just don't know what a – I don't know what an outside quarter, I don't know what an outside third, I just don't really understand like what they actually cover in this game. They don't cover this they don't cover the seam. Um oh, gosh, Trevor. And Trevor Lawrence is kind of eh. This guy's trying to gas me up out of three four odd, I wanna say. So we'll see we'll see what, what comes of this. And there it is. <laughs> deep zone logic. The best it's ever been. We fixed deep zones. No, you didn't. You did not fix deep zones. As I just throw right through a cover three for a one-play touchdown when I'm not even trying to do that. So, yeah. Uh, switch sticks, cool. Switch sticks, switch sticks, honestly, you're only hoping to stop this year. But switch sticks hard because... If switch stick can honestly leave you like why like I feel like that's also partially the reason as you've got people switch sticking so much because they're trying to get a stop because it's almost impossible to get a stop in this game. So they switch stick all over the field and then that leaves like other holes and it's basically a bunch of like if you if you guess wrong with the switch stick it's a touchdown. I feel like a lot of that's happening like in comp play specifically, but there's just it's just not good defense. Like that's my big thing. The defense is just not. Three three five odd is cool. Um, we, we might jump in double mug. Let me put Campbell and Diablo, Chase Young, Parsons. Yeah, we'll just do this. Let's use purples. Let's see if this works. I don't know. I've heard the two four is not as good. Oh, wait, it come right through the middle. <laughs> oh, there it is, boys. They did. We patched double A. You didn't patch double A. I'm sorry to tell you. I actually really prefer this, this zone. I just wish, like, I love zone defense, man. I just wish this was the way to play. And there's deep zone logic. We fixed deep zone logic. Yeah, you did. Way to go, yay. It's good for the game. Well, boys, that's our game. First game post-batch, Man 25. Thanks for watching the video. To get the ebooks, they will be updated. Link is in the description below.